Ah, final bosses, one of the best things to look forward to, especially in a fighting game. These are the guys that help you relate to your character of choice the most. The feeling of being helpless as a powerful opponent stands before you, ready for you to conquer him. Or her, depending on the game. And the game we are talking about today is Tekken, which probably has the best fighting game bosses I've ever seen. I will be judging these bosses by how well they fit into the story, and by how difficult they are, because as you know, I love me some difficult bosses. And it's really difficult to narrow these bosses down to just five, so please try and respect my opinion and feel free to share your opinion kindly and quietly in the comments below, so you don't start any arguments. <laughs> With that said, let's begin my countdown for the top five final bosses in Tekken. Oh man, Ogre could have been much, much higher on the list. He fits so good into the story. He, uh, Jin's mom and get the final boss and... Uh, but he's probably the easiest final boss I've ever seen in a Tekken game. Oh my gosh. In fact, if it weren't for how well he fit into the story, he wouldn't have even made it onto the list because his fighting style has nothing special. There's no special moves about him at all. The only thing special about him is that he transforms, which is completely underwhelming because it's even easier than his first form. His second form's attacks are slow. They barely do any damage. He can't rack up any super good combos. I do think he's a good character and all, but he just does not deserve to hold the title of a final boss. Ugh. <laughs> ah, I remember this boss from when I was a wee little lad. Twas the first plot twist I've ever experienced. Oh, I remember when I first fought this guy. I lost horribly. But then, when I heard the announcer say, Hihachi Mishima wins, my jaw dropped. I was all like, wait! Wait! Hayachi is Kazuya's father? <gasps> what? After that, I was determined to beat this guy, and I lost many, many times. But one faithful day, at the age of seven years old, I won the first round, Hayachi won the second, and we were on to the final round. I had to ask my sister to leave the room so I could concentrate. Which didn't help because I could hear her cheering really loud. But I eventually did it, and it had to be one of the most satisfying feelings I have ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> and then we come to Tekken 4 where Hihachi Mishima is at it again. But this time, he's wearing a diaper. <laughs> I don't care what any of you say, that is a diaper. I, I mean look at it, it's all white and poofy, it's gotta be a diaper! Can, can, can this whole segment be diaper jokes about Heihachi? Please. No? Okay. In all seriousness. <laughs> sorry, sorry. In all seriousness though, I think the reason he made it twice on this list is because we finally got to see him again after a while. I mean, before this, it was a bunch of guys with superpowers, and I was starting to miss good old Heihachi. I mean, he was almost the final boss in Tekken 3, but that just wasn't the same. Probably because he wasn't wearing a diaper. <laughs> this boss was terrifying. Okay, so you see Heihachi coming up a cliff in the intro, so you're thinking, Hey, we gotta beat him again. But nope, he's unlocked from the start. Oh, but where's Kazuya? No, he's the final boss. 
but there's something different about him. Devil! Sorry if I overreacted a bit, but he really is scary. I mean, you're thinking, what happened to Kazuya? He was a hero, right? Apparently not, because now he's a purple muscle guy with wings in a dark room with mirrors, and he's naked. Ew. But I really do love this boss. It's fairly difficult, and I love how it symbolizes Kazuya's struggle with his devil side that he got from his mother, Kazumi. Not to mention that the music sends tingles down your spine as well. However, there is just one boss I like more. And you guys are probably gonna kill me for this, but here I go anyways. Number one is... Jinpachi Mishima. Where do I even begin with this guy? Jinpachi fits perfectly into the plot, just not as perfectly as Devil, which will probably have you wondering why I have him at number one instead of Devil. And yes, this completely has to do with his fighting style and difficulty. Lots of people call him cheap, but I call it awesome. I mean, with Devil Kazuya, he just sort of paved the way for more demonic characters to come, like Devil Jin or Angel. They all use his moveset and make it even better. But with Jinpachi, you just get this satisfaction out of beating a character that's too strong to be playable. I know, I know, he was playable in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, but he was severely nerfed there. If his Tekken 5 version were there, he'd be top tier. Just beating this super strong, all-powerful guy with a little schoolgirl like Xiaoyu gives you an overwhelming rush, and it's just hilarious. Like a mouse beating up an elephant, or Goku beating up Superman. Yeah, I went there. I'm out.